Good morning. I'm wearing my jacket because I'm going to go under my truck and put the hitch back on because we're going to go get a car this morning. Uh, Adam has found one that is uh it's about 600 bucks. It's for a uh, 94 Mitsubishi Pussy uh Colt Mirage thing or whatever the fuck it is. And basically it looks like a it looks like a watered down two-door Honda Civic. So like literally the front end looks like it could be a Honda Civic. It just cracks me up. Um, so it has a brand new motor in it. It's it's got three hundred thousand miles on the car, but the motor was replaced forty thousand miles ago. So um, with that, I believe with the new motor it should have a new clutch because it is a five speed. So um, it's gonna need wheels and tires. Um, yeah, a few things here and there. It's really not that bad of a car. So. Anyways, we're going to tow with this guy. He's all pretty much set. Um, so I figured out what's wrong with the Cine unit and why there are rust flakes in here. So this here is an original style Ford Cine unit. And, uh, well, they don't use plastic floats. They use metal floats. So that metal float in there just rotted away. Alright, so I got the trailer hitch back on. <coughs> I'll bolt it up. I used uh, this stuff on the bolts. Actually, made it go together pretty easy. So that's in now. Bolted in real snug. So we got a good solid mount. I don't really trust this a whole lot. It's good for the trailer and a lot of wood, but this uh, I'd I would trust this more with a car. So even though that bumper is pretty pretty heavy duty, but I don't know. We got some stuff here. We got a. Tools. I gotta get my socket set and put it in here. Got our floor jack. So we're we're set to go. Just need to get some breakfast and uh, see if this thing will start again. <laughs> Look what we just towed with the truck all the way from frickin' Portland. She's gonna need some love. Six hundred bucks for. A car that doesn't have a blown head gasket? How about that? Really? I'd pay your, your parent? Well, I guess there is the radio on it. It's not really worth stealing. Oops. Well, I guess if someone really needed to go, I mean, it's not like they're gonna get it off here. A little, a little smokerish. Yeah. It's like, oh no, the seatbelt. No, it's all like diggered. There we go. And it's got that. Some bitch. It works. Yeah, that's funny. Oh yeah, that clutch pedal's. <laughs> what? What? What clutch pedal pad? <laughs> that's funny. I already popped it. Oh, uh, my freaking cap for my rear tank popped off somehow, so it drips a little bit of fuel that's in that line. It was working. Anyways, let's uh, unplug this. Yeah. Supposedly a brand new motor. Yeah, here they are. Look. Two, stu two, two studs. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where that leak's coming from. It looks like it's coming from somewhere weird. Yeah, you know, it might not even be, it might even be a coolant leak. It's coolant? Right on the hose. Oh, um, I, I would like, I would really like that. Oh, you want the stick? Yeah. That would be nice. Looks pretty clean. I have this stick. It has new wires, probably new plugs. Yeah, just wherever it goes. Uh, whoops. Wait, no. Put it in that hole. That hole right there. That big hole right there. I put it somewhere high up so it's up high. I don't know where the fuck it's supposed to. Where was this at? 
Right in there somewhere. All but right. don't put it there because I don't want the hood like this, all the way closed, all the way down. Put in that grommet. So this is our air filter. Yeah. So that's definitely on the to-do list. It's so old, even the gas is broken. Find out it's the original air filter. It's like no wonder, no wonder it was low on oil. Yeah. So. Working on oil. Yeah. Well, it was actually pins oil. Is it pins oil? But there is a little bit of Ford oil in there. <laughs> now the rocker seems to be Damn it! You're leaving doors open again. So I'm gonna put this back in. That's not an issue. No washer fluid. It's in neutral, yep. No fucking way. You push the clutch in? No, I think it's dead as a door now. From leaving the door open. Really? Yeah, it died. That's funny. Don't do anything. Now try it. Okay, don't touch it. Okay, now try it. You need to, uh, we gotta tighten the battery, the things are loose. Let's go somewhere that sucker is loose. Got a small oil leak somewhere. I don't know where it's from, we'll have to find out. But check out the wheels on this, Holmes. Look at this, no tread? Who needs tread? Hardly any pressure in it. Gonna need a steering alignment, that's perfectly straight now. Yeah, it's purring like a kitten now. It's pretty well. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, it was a little, a little bit low on power steering fluid, but it did have stuff. So I, I actually still have a bottle that you had. So we can dump that in there. Never mind. If you slam it, it does. Oh, the headlights are completely smashed. Kind of looks like a Honda Civic. You got all the chains undone? Yeah. It's running fine now. We tightened the battery up and undid the shit. Purse. All right, let's go for a test drive. Okay, so this is stupid. Um, hey, you just get in. No, just no watch. I'll show you. I, I don't. I don't like it. I know what you're gonna have to do. So buckle up, get in. And now this floor is your seatbelt. You bump it into here. Where and then can it's, I? It's on the side here, right there. Oh. Okay. So I get in here like this. Okay, on the on the on the, on the bottom there. Actually, you're gonna actually have to unbuckle that real quick because I have to unwrap it. It's all fucked up. Here. Oh, um, okay. That's emergency release. Motherfucker! Mother. Motherfucker! There, now it's gonna be. Right, now you can buckle it in up there. Get your, you find your bottom seatbelt down there? What oh, bottom? There's the bottom part. Ah, oh, there we go. It's, it's back there, you gotta pull it up off from the floor. Fucking rocket science, so it's not even... Yeah, 
Yeah, you pull it up and you put yourself in. Okay, that's a little interesting. A little complicated here. One, okay. Is it out of gear? Yeah, it's in neutral. I think that battery was probably killing it. Okay, it's acting fine now. It was, uh, it was that battery and probably just a little low on oil. Seems fine now. Peppy? Yeah. It's actually pretty peppy. That shifter is a little weird looking, but I oh. Is it gonna die? Yeah, it's been fighting with dirt back around. I'm like, back to your house. Let's see if they lost all that oil already. I wonder if the idle has an adjustment that can be made. <laughs> I will need a new air filter. All the gears work. <laughs> so we got air in the tires. The one tire is a little fuckered. And we're doing a car wash right now. We adjusted the idle on it. It was a little too low, so it was kind of wanting to die out. Battery terminals were loose, so we tightened those down. Other than that, everything's working. The condenser in the front got kind of punctured, so it doesn't, the AC is obviously not going to work. Otherwise, everything else is good. Why don't I even get one of these? For free! Whatever works. Oh, great. Yeah, I, I got this for free. Cool. I always wanted one of these. Need an air filter, cold air intake. <laughs> or just a new air filter. A new air filter would just be perfect for now. Brand new. Yeah, you could probably buy one of those uh, cane in ones. The drop in ones. Yeah, because I, I wanted I told one I wasn't gonna get one. I'd rather be uh, washing, washing out the the filter than buying another one. Yeah. The guy's pretty good. She's gonna need the gas. I think the gas gauge does work. Yeah. Heck, more than yesterday when we were second or something. Bastards. <laughs> Probably. Chains. Fucking bastards. You don't buckle this. Clocked me in the head. Alright, let me get out of the way. Keep it going. It's actually on pretty straight. Cool. That looks a lot better than when we towed it. Yeah, it's running great. Must really have a rebuilt motor. I think I gotta find a way. I think it's still leaking oil a little bit, but not too much. I guess you gotta keep an eye on it. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, it runs. Yeah, I think it was leaking. Definitely gonna need a steering wheel. Look at look at the camber's all dick. Looking a lot better though, that's for sure. I'm gonna roll this window up. The best car in the world, but it runs. And it smells like whisk. <laughs> it doesn't smell like a little whore anymore. Yeah, it well, all the interior does, but. Well, we'll fix that. We're gonna shampoo the shit out of it. Quite literally, there's shit in the back seat. 
I think for now just shampoo it and then once you get into a seat you can just toss it. Yeah. At least it'll get the smell out. My easy access button. <sighs> That's funny. It won't cut your fingers. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It felt like it was. You got it out of gear? Yeah. Okay. I gotta chain this up. You gotta chain it? Alright. <laughs> and then put the e-brake on, just kidding. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll drag it. Alright, we got it back to his place. And it didn't fall off. And it stayed clean. Oh my god, no. It was a little retarded to have a spoiler on it, but okay. Uh, this, I, think it's, I think that's factory. Yeah. It does it does kind of look like a, a knockoff Honda. That would be <laughs> put that fucking badge on there. No. <laughs> no. Do you want to do the the chain? I got to do one chain. It's on the other side. Yeah, I think this needs a oil pan gasket. This won't be too hard. On my knockoff Honda. Yeah, this headlight's completely shot. It was actually full of water earlier. Quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty peppy. <laughs> I was like, scratch the tires a little bit. I was like, no, I, I let the clutch go, and I was like, I'm gonna pull it. Cause then I was like, I'm like, eh, I'm like <laughs> yeah, okay. So I was, it was great. It's got little things like that. Yeah. Oh. Your battery's dead, Chris. No, there was a big green blob on my thing. All right, so we're at Adam's uh, new, new old car. <laughs> you just put 15 bucks of gas in, and we got like half a tank. A nice little clunk sound on this side, so we need to investigate. I know what it is. <laughs> There's tires back there. No, in the front here, I, I felt something. It's probably just way more bushy. That's pretty... Yeah, you know, we need to get the pubes. We need to get the pubes out. As Mighty, Mighty Car Mods. He was, he was calling them like Mighty Car Mods. Found. Yeah. Oh. No, no, use, no used condoms. Oh, where's me? Where's me? So, we went and got some stuff. We got a new air filter. We have uh, some oil. We got an oil filter. And we put some bug wash in. The tank was completely bone dry. And now the windshield wipers work a little bit better and the window's a little bit cleaner. So that's a good safety plus how much you want to bet that I this cat oil. I spilled oil on it oh you spilled oil uh, but yeah, anyways oh hey this might cause a vacuum leak that might make it idle better if I fix that oh yeah I love this. oh put a clamp on it yeah, we'll put a clamp on it. All right, I'm getting ready to drain the freaking oil. We got our loose, kind of a big knot too. What was it, a 5.8? It's 11 sixteenths. 11 sixteenths. Oh, that's warm. <laughs> did you drop the thing in the pan? <laughs> yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I ended up making a new vacuum line here. I'm gonna try and find a clamp to secure it a little bit better than it was before but the old line was like wah 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 so we'll see if it idles a little bit better otherwise it just idles like my uh, cousin Holly's uh, Ford Focus patch job's not that bad on this radiator but I can 
see that is kind of seeping just or was seeping at some point around the seam so I'll probably have to just pop a new one in oh I plan on it it's I looked that up too how much was it it's 300 bucks 700 dollars 100 100 okay that's my 20 percent discount oh yeah Adam's working at AutoZone now I actually got my shirt on but oh yeah my red shirt I gotta get my badges in the car Okay, so we had to pull the exhaust manifold cover to get the better access to the oil filter. No big deal, we reinstalled the stuff with anti C, so now it's all nice and good. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, start it. Got oil? Yes, yeah, it's over, but that's right with this filter. Yeah, the filter hasn't primed itself yet. Yeah, you had me scared there for a second. What? Oh, there's that oil that we let down into the one spark plug well. Oh, did it? Is it? It's burning it off right now. I expected that. That's high idling right now. Well, idling higher than I said it. I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it back. Real quick. Hey. Maybe it's running better because that hose is fixed. Oh, did you fix it? Yeah. It's running a lot better. That's the right Here. Here. Yeah, that's what it was. I think it's fine. Don't change it. What's it at? It's at 1,000. Oh, yeah. Bring it down to about 800. So on this side, we had two studs that, bro that were broken off previous. We came with new studs. We put them in. That took like five minutes. And we put the other tire on because this one... Well, this one's gonna go to the other side. Originally we took it off because it has a bulge, but on this side, we're down to the belt, so we're gonna take that wheel, put it over here. Yeah, and that's also because the wheels, I wanna don't lower down, it's it's at an angle like this. So we're gonna rip it off here in a second and see what's going on. And we did use Andy's he's putting this stuff back together. That doesn't look bent. Uh, I wonder if it's this upper control arm. Yeah, that one looks fine. The, the bush looks fine. Oh shit! <laughs> so we just did our own redneck alignment. We just you know, we got it still pretty straight with the car. You can't really change which way it goes, but we did change the uh, camber so it's a little bit straighter now. Uh, this side here is, you know, and it might it might be compressed a little bit more, but um, yeah, this side here looking a lot better. Should. Looking a lot better. Now let's see, uh, make sure it drives right and doesn't it doesn't shake. It's like it, oh, it's slightly out of spec, so it's gonna fucking shake and shit. <laughs> Alright, that's about as close as we're going to get it. A lot better than before. But uh, we're doing just for shits and giggles. <laughs> it's funny though, is that the front end looks almost exactly like a Honda. It's hilarious. So we're going to make, gonna make it a, a knockoff Honda clone. Kind of like those knockoff Honda motors that you get from the hardware store. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be great. And also, we had to clean up an oil spill. 